Whether it's through public transportation or a personal vehicle, getting around is a key part of everyday life all over the world. But ever wonder how cars are made? It's not just the carriage itself that gets you around. All the components in a car are what team up to make mobility possible. Starter units, gearboxes, cylinders, and so much more are simply parts of a car that are produced by original equipment manufacturers or OEMs. Also, OEMs play a large role in Iranian auto industries. Oh, hello there, and welcome to another edition of Bazaar. Today, we will venture through Iran's automotive industry and explore its markets. We will take an exclusive look at the production market for vital car parts. We also want to see how they all come together to build one of Iran's top manufacturing industries. So, buckle your seatbelts and let's get this show on the road. visited an original equipment manufacturer located in the capital city Tehran. Iskra Auto and Electric Company of Iran was first established in the early 1990s. The company mainly manufactures alternators and car starters. Its main customers are domestic automakers such as Renault Pars, Saipar and Iran Khodro. It also has operating licenses in the field of assembling all kinds of vital car engine components. In a sense, this manufacturer is composed of five production units. It has an aluminium die casting unit where it manufactures aluminium parts with 300 and 500 ton injection machines. Also, its vast mold shop builds and repairs molds and spare parts of machines. Equally important is the machining unit which is equipped with CNC machines to form the die casted parts. It has a unit for press and plating, complete with a plastic injection area. And last but not least, the company has a very large assembly hall. Each unit has an average footprint of 5,000 square meters. Uh, قطعات نیمه ساخته تولید میشه و در نهایت در سالن مونتاژ به صورت محصول نهایی تولید و بسته‌بندی و تست تست عملکرد انجام میشه و برای شرکت‌های خودروسازی ارسال میشه سالن تولیدی شامل سالن‌های دایکاست یا ریختگری که مواد ورودی این سالن شمش آلومینیومیه شمش آلومینیومی اونجا توی فرایند دایکست به بدنه های آلومینیومی استارت و دینام تبدیل میشه بعد این بدنه های آلومینیومی در سالن ماشینکاری فرایند ماشینکاری روی این قطعات انجام میشه و از نظر عبادی داره اهمیت زیادی که اونجا کنترل های مختلف روش انجام میشه Many machines that are used in various production stages at this company can be locally manufactured and purchased. قطعات دیگری توی سالن‌های دیگه شامل سالن پرسکاری که صفحات فلزی یا برق‌های فلزی در این سالن معمولاً فرایند پرسکاری رو انجام میشه. بعد از اینکه پرسکاری انجام شد، اکثر قطعات برای فرایند آبکاری به سالن آبکاری منتقل میشه در سالن آبکاری روی قطعات آبکاری انجام میشه و قسمت های دیگه شامل سالن تزریق پلاستیک برای قطعات پلاستیکی داخل استارت و دینام فرانده مختلفی با دستگاه تزریق پلاستیک انجام میشه سالن فرج فرانده فرج سرد و فرج گرم برای تولید قطعات It's not surprising that many industrial machines for manufacturing can be locally made. 
Indeed, Iran is rich with natural resources such as steel, iron and copper, which are all used to make technology. But Iran also has a lot of talented people, and its knowledge-based companies thrive on well-developed sciences and research in the country. This manufacturer also designs and builds its own brand of alternators and engine starters, which is no easy task. It uses Iranian aptitudes, science of mechanical engineering and the wealth of knowledge existing in the country to its advantage. This manufacturer was one of the first knowledge-based companies to indigenize design and production of its products. Around 90% of its starters and alternators are domestic productions. This manufacturer produces thousands of its products each year. It is a major supplier to automotive companies across Iran. This company also works with international brands and so it has maintained the same high quality standards throughout its products. میشه گفتش که ما تنها شرکتی هستیم در کشور که در زمینه طراحی استارت و دینام خودرو دانش بنیان هستیم و واحد تحقیق و توسعه داریم که در مجموع بیش از 60 نفر کارشناس و کارشناس ارشد و دکترا در زمینه‌های مختلف رشته‌های فنی و مهندسی در این مجموعه فعالیت دارند. The quality of its products are proven through successfully receiving international ISO standardization certificates. But that's not all. It also has permits and certificates from Iran's Bureau of Standards, as well as the National Accreditation Center of Iran. And it has received praise for its quality and management from Iran's Ministry of Industry, Mining and Trade. <laughs> سف 25 هستش که استاندارد ها رو به صورت کامل پوشش میده داخل آزمایشگاه استاندارد استاندارد هایی مثل تست دوام انجام میدیم تست های ابعادی که دقت خیلی بالای احتیاج دارن انجام میدیم و یه سری تست های دیگه که متناسب هستش برای اینکه طول عمر قطعه ما به اندازه کافی باشه این تست رو انجام میدیم بعد از اینکه مطمئن شدیم قطعه ما اوکی هست حالا اجازه میدیم که قطعه به سمت مشتری ارسال بشه There is a lot of competition in the global automotive industry. Each year, automakers put out new models in the market in order to stay relevant in the competition. But what really drives this industry is quality, dependability, and higher technology incorporated into new cars. A lot of research and development is necessary for this to happen. This manufacturer also invested a lot of money and resources in its research and development department. Here, it has two laboratories that are fully equipped with the latest technology for quality control, as well as product development. Market pressures in parts production mean there's no room for failure. Companies usually need to rapidly adapt volume and customizations. This is mainly because of the changing needs of consumers. Typically, customers demand the lowest cost per part with world-class quality. در ابتدا قطعاتی که از شرکت‌های سازنده برای ما وارد شرکت میشه، از نظر کیفی چک کنیم که ببینیم استانداردا رو پاس می‌کنه یا نه. بعد از اینکه از این قسمت مطمئن شدیم، قطعات وارد انبار میشه و بعد از انبار به ترتیب وارد خطوط تولیدی میشه. در خطوط تولیدی فرایند های مختلف روی قطعات انجام میشه تا یه قطعه تکمیل میشه و ما میتونیم ارسال کنیم برای مشتری در طول این فرایند ها ما موظفیم مطمئن بشیم قطعه ما تو هر کدوم از فرایند ها به صورت منطبق با استاندارد های کنترل کیفیت داره تولید This company also exports a portion of its products to Russia its future vision is to export its starters and alternators to neighboring countries and find other markets around the world. Additionally, among its future goals, this company plans to make other car parts, such as components for electric cars, among many other items. In the case of the personnel, 
شرکت ایسکرا حدود 440 تا 450 نفر هست و این شرکت در طول سالیان گذشته از بدو تاسیسش تا این لحظه همواره در حال توسعه بوده و دائما خط و خطوط های جدید رو در جهت افزایش عمق داخل سازی و افزایش تنوع محصولاتش همواره داشته هم اکنون که خدمتون دارم صحبت میکنم امسال هم محصول جدیدی باز به خانواده محصولات شرکت اضافه خواهند شد و در آینده نیز قصد داریم که به حوزه در حقیقت موتور قدرهای برقی وارد بشیم While this manufacturer has enjoyed many successes in its domain it has also faced numerous challenges along the way دقیقت تحریم ها هر روز به روز گسترش پیدا می کرد و ما برای ادامه کار مجبور بودیم که با اتکاب دقیقت تکنولوژی داخلی بتونیم در حقیقت نیازهای روزمره و نیاز به قطعات و تکنولوژی های ساخت استارت دینام بومی بکنیم در این راه هم داخل شرکت خط و خطوط جدید و فرایند ها و تکنولوژی های جدید رو اندازی کردیم همین که از امکانات داخل شرکت های داخلی، شرکت های دانش بنیان، شرکت های دیگه که تو این حوزه بودن روز به روز فعال شدن و فکر میکنم رشد خوبی تو این زمینه ایجاد شد یعنی تحریم از ایه طرف به ما این کمک کار کرد Here are some statistics about Iran's automotive parts industry. First of all, this business is split into two segments, original equipment manufacturers and aftermarket parts manufacturers. This last category produces replacement parts for vehicles. Around 70% of the domestic demand for auto parts is locally produced, and there is somewhere around 1,200 automotive parts manufacturers active nationwide. Iran's Automotive Parts Manufacturing Association estimates that the total annual sales value for auto parts to be around $8 billion. Figures show around $6.5 billion of this value belongs to OEMs. Also, aftermarket component sales generate around $1.5 billion each year. The total value of Iranian automotive parts market was estimated to be worth around $13 billion last year. This is while Iran still imports a portion of its auto parts. Somewhere around $5.2 billion worth of these items were imported in 2019. But Iran also exports car parts to other countries as well. Based on figures from Iran's Automotive Parts Manufacturing Association, nearly $200 million worth of goods were exported in 2019. Major export destinations were Russia and Iraq, among 39 other countries. The government has outlined plans to increase car productions to 3 million units in the next four years. Also, 1 million units of this production are designated for exports. To encourage domestic productions, the government introduced a strategy that would increase local car parts content to 50%. This means that local manufacturers will have to step up production. The strategy was implemented in 2017 in support of local car parts manufacturers. In this policy, cars made in joint ventures with foreign companies had to be made with 50% local content. Presently, the industry is capable of manufacturing around 1.6 million cars annually. Last year, Iran produced over 1 million units of various cars. This means that car production in Iran went up by 19% when compared to the last two years. The industry has created over 700,000 jobs directly and millions more indirectly. Iran's auto industry employs 10% of the country's total workforce and also represents 10% of its GDP. It is the second largest industry after oil and gas. All right, it's time for me to pull over for a second here because my good friend and colleague is about to take you on an exclusive adventure. Omid Buddy, 
Where have you taken the crew this time? They have medicinal properties. They soothe skin irritation, protect cells from damage, heal cuts, enhance mood, relieve headaches, treat symptoms of arthritis, and you name it. They are also widely used in the cosmetic and personal care industry. They are famous for their flavor and aroma. In this week's feature program, we are going to delve into the herbal oil and water industry in Iran. Thanks to the country's geographical location and climate, Iran is home to over 800 species of plants that are known to have medicinal properties and remarkable health benefits. Here's a short list of most famous flowers that can be processed into floral oils and waters. Chicory, mint, orange flower, willow flower, and the queen of flowers, rose. Kashan, which is a county in Isfahan province, is the largest producer of essential oils and floral waters in the country. And that is why we decided to visit a company there to see how these products are made. The production, regardless of the type of flower that is used, can be best summarized as distillation. It is the process of separating the components from a liquid mixture by using selective boiling and condensation. Let's take rose water, which is locally known as golab, and rose oil, for example. Roses, actually the most fragrant type of the flower known as Muhammadi or Damask Rose, are harvested in mid-June in Kaushan. And then... Once damask rose petals are picked, they are taken to this facility where rose water is made. The whole process can be summarized into one word, distillation. First, a ton of rose petals will be put inside the steel distillation pot, and then depending on the quality of rose petals, between 1,000 to 3,000 liters of water will be added. The mix is then heated indirectly via steam. This process should be steady so that the liquid content doesn't flow over the pot and only steam gets out. What happens next is that inside this tube or cylinder, there is some pipes which carry um, cool water which act as a coolant and condensates the steam. Uh, well, the steam that is not condensated is sent down to another container. Let's see what happens next. The distillation of flowers and herbs has a deep history in Iran. Today, essential oil and herbal water production is not limited to family farms and small copper pots. Large companies have entered the market and dominated the field. بحث گیاهان یک بحث بومیه بنابراین اکثر مشتری ما بحثشون سر اینه که من گل محمدی ایران رو میخوام من قنچه گل محمدی ایران رو میخوام آویشن ایران رو میخوام یعنی در واقع این شناسنومه واسه شون بسیار با اهمیته این نژاد گیاه واسه شون مهمه چون اینطوری انحصاری میشه کار و این انحصار قابل کپی برداری نیست بنابراین قطعا سرمایه گذاری تو این صنعت تو این مکان خاص تو این جغرافی های خاص بسیار با ارزش هست و بازار هدف خودشو داره کشت دقدقه های خودشو داره مهمترین بحث و صادرات محصولات گیاهی اینه که ما به گونه کشت و برداشت انجام بدیم که اون محصولات آلوده نباشه یعنی دنیا میگه اگر قرار هست گیاهان دارویی استفاده بشه این گیاهان دارویی نباد با سموم و با کودهای شیمیایی آلوده شده باشه اگر این دقدقه اونا رو ما برطرف کنیم قطعا توان بازار فوق العاده زیاده و سرمایه گذاری بسیار جای کار داره. Essential oils are extremely valuable because of their high concentration. Rose oil or queen of oils is highly sought after for its aroma and powerful topical and emotional benefits. The blooming floral aroma is comforting and rose oil used topically helps promote healthy looking skin. The aroma is intoxicating. This container holds rose water. But I'm going to tell you something very interesting. Actually, rose water is a byproduct of this process. The primary product is called rose oil, right? And this product is of extremely high value. Every ton of rose petals produces only 10 cubic centimeters of rose oil. Now, look at this oil that stays 
on the top because it's lighter in weight. Well, this is extremely valuable. Every bottle of uh, this oil is priced at about, I guess, roughly $10,000. Uh, this oil can be used in different industries, ranging from pharmaceuticals to food, cosmetics, perfume industry. All right, now I am going to pour some oil into this bottle. Well, there is only little oil left here, but this is the oil. It's extremely valuable. If you're watching Bazaar, you know that packaging lies in wait. There is something special about the oil produced in Iran that makes it unique in the world. ما یه دوستی داشتیم که در واقع خارجی بود و از ما اسانس خرید می‌کرد حرف جالب به من می‌زد وقتی آلمانی بودن اسانس‌های ما رو می‌دیدن می‌گفت که من ازشون سوال کردم اسانس ما بهتره یا اسانس ترکیه و بلغار گفتن که اصلا برای من تولید کننده کارخانه آرش بهداشتی اسانس شما بهتر از اسانس بلغار ندارم من اسانس شما رو نیاز دارم این نوع اسانس قابل جایگزین توسط اسانس بلغار نیست اسانس بلغار اسانس بلغار اسانس ایران اسانس ایرانه من این اسانس رو نیاز دارم یعنی شما هر چقدر این اسانس رو به من بدی من از شما خریدم Today people are becoming increasingly more aware of the importance of organic products As a result the demand for drinks made from floral waters has been on the rise These drinks are extremely refreshing and full of health benefits well, I can see great potential in this business because the production process requires nothing but a distillation pot and some machinery and a staff to do the packaging. I'm sure this business is a profitable one. Anyway, the products that are made in this company are not limited to rose water or rose oil, but they also include some other herbal distillates or floral waters, if you wish, such as uh, orange blossom water or mint water, to just name a few. They also make a wide variety of different drinks with these waters. I'm holding in my hand one such drink and I'm going to have a sip at it. But Samson sees my good friend. Don't worry, man. I'm going to bring back some for you and I'm sure you're going to love them. Back to you, Samson. Oh, <laughs> you are too kind passing over souvenirs like that. It's even changed the bottle a little bit. Well, this is TV magic. Well, before I make up a tasty squash with this uh, fresh rose water, let's take a look at some of the news and market trends in what we spoke about earlier. Iran's auto industry. Each year, Iran imports a portion of domestic demand for auto parts, costing the country millions of dollars. So, automakers are now trying to localize the production of many of these parts to reduce expenses. Good idea. One of Iran's biggest automakers is implementing 125 localization projects in various production fields. It is estimated that these projects will reduce money spent on imports by around $160 million. Experts say indigenization would save up to $92 million in auto parts and around $30 million in raw materials. The goal is to encourage local production in the sector by using domestic, industrial, scientific and technological capacities. Mapna Group has started collaborating with one of Iran's top auto manufacturers in the development of a roadmap to produce electric vehicles. Time for the new age to kick in. The automaker will team up with one of the subsidiaries of Mapna, which specializes in manufacturing and engineering electric and control systems. Mapna has also launched Iran's first electric vehicle charging station in Tehran. The charging station includes a standard charger for electric vehicles and a fast charger for Korean and Japanese models. This station also has outlets for charging electric motorcycles. And with that, we have reached the finish line for today. Remember, you can get in touch with us by sending us an email or a message on our Instagram page. Like I always say, we love hearing from you, so stay in touch. I have been Samson Seas. I'll see you in the next bazaar.